If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. Shalom, D.C. with the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, start of 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna. Since 1969, we've been teaching the truth of the Bible, and the truth is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the true Jews according to the Bible, and that our oppressor is a devil that the Bible speaks of. And the reason why we do not know this, we do not, this is not common knowledge amongst our people, is because we are under uh, um, Stockholm Syndrome. We believe everything that our oppressor tells us and teaches us about our people. Why should we listen to the people who try day in, day out, month in, month, year in, year out, to, to totally and utterly destroy us? And they use our book to, to do it. I'm going to teach you exactly how this is our book. This book belongs to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And the reason why it belongs to us because the because the, 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 the names that we have today, the, the so-called Negroes, the, the, the West Indians, the, the, the Mexicans, the Cubans, that's not what the names that the Most High called us. The names that the Most High called us are, are Manessa, are Judah, Benjamin, Levi. This is what the Most High called us. We are the, the true Jews, the true Israelite, 12 tribes of, of Israel. And we do not know this because we are under Stockholm Syndrome and we believe everything that our oppressor tells us. We believe that, that we are something less than. We believe that, 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 thank you brother, thank you. We believe that they are above us and we are below them. There is a reason why we believe this. And the reason why is because we did away with our own laws that the Most High gave us. We believe our oppressor who told us that we do not have to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. When these laws, statutes, and commandments uh, were given to us, it was given to, given to us throughout our generations. We are not to put away any of these laws, any of these statutes, any of these commandments. There's a reason why it's called commandments because the Most High told us, ordered us to do follow everything in this book. Since when did the Most High say we are we we could uh uh. uh eat certain type of foods, pork, shrimp, crab, and lasa. The Most High said we are never to eat any of that stuff. But our oppressor told us we can eat that. And we eat that and because of that we are the number one in, in high blood pressure, hypertension, uh, uh, kidney disease, kidney failure. We are the ones that are suffering from, from all this vile and nastiness. When the Most High told us, ordered us, commanded us to follow all these laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. We're going to get to some scripture and I'm going to prove to you exactly why the church says we can't, but the Bible says we, we have to. That's right. Give me Matthew 5 and 17. Oh, God. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 17. Think not. Think not. This is, what, what letter is this written in? Red words. If anybody knows anything about the Bible, anything that's written in red in the Bible is coming from Christ. Yahweh in Hebrew. Christ is telling us something. He's saying, what? Think not. Do not think this. Get this out your mind. If you think about it, get it out your head. That I am come to destroy the law. Don't think that the most that, that, that Christ has come to destroy the law. And we think, we believe that the, that Christ come came back so that he can, he can do away with the law. Now that he died for our sins, that we can do anything we want. That's not what he's saying. This right. is coming out of his words, written in red. He's telling us, 
think not that he has come to destroy, to do away with any of the laws. Right. Keep going. Or the prophets. Or the prophets, or anything that the prophets before him or coming after him were going to say. Our commandments was not just in one book. Moses did not just deliver, um, Moses was not the only one to deliver our laws. Right. There were prophets that came before him, there were prophets that came after him that taught us how to, how to uh, establish the law in our, in our lives, in our communities, in our nation. This is what Christ said, read it from the top one more time. Think not that I'm come to destroy the law or the prophets. Think not that he come to destroy the law, that he come to do away with the law. This is what our Christian pastor teaches us every Sunday. That, that we can do whatever we want, all we got to do is, is, is pray over it, and God knows my heart. That's a lie. Right. That's a lie that, to keep us in this situation, to keep us underfoot of our oppressor. Right. If we get up from, the only way we can get up from under the foot of our oppressor is if we actually turn back to the ways of the Most High. That's right. We put down the crack, we put down the drugs, we put down the whores, we put away... Uh, um, all this evil that, that we have been doing for so long. All these things that the Most High ordered us not to do. Thank you, brother, thank you. If we stop celebrating Christmases and birthdays and, and, and all these other, and Thanksgiving, none of these were supposed to be celebrated according to the law. The Most High gave us holidays that we're supposed to celebrate. High holy days that we were supposed to celebrate throughout our generations. That's right. Forever and ever. Christmas is not one of them. Right. Halloween is not one of them. Right. Your birthday is not one of them. That's right. Most High gave us law, statutes, and commandments that he put on this on this earth for us so that we can be on top and not the bottom. That's right. Keep reading. I am not come to destroy. Christ said he did not come to destroy. But to fulfill. But to fulfill, he came to fulfill the prophecies. And not every single one of these prophecies that is, that is, that is written, outlined in this Bible has been fulfilled. Right. You want to know how I know? Because we're still homeless. We're still addicted to drugs. We're still on the bottom. We're not in charge of anything. We, we live, we live in, in a neighborhood, but we do not own that neighborhood. That is not our community. We just pay rent here. This is one of the signs, this is some of the signs that all of the prophecy has not come true. Right. The scripture actually says, vengeance is mine. The Most High has not gotten vengeance on all the, the lynchings and the murders and the robbery and the lying and the thieving that, that our oppressor has been put on us. That's how we know that all the, that all the prophecies have not been fulfilled. You got any more on that? Go. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass. He says, verily, surely, surely I say unto you, until heaven and earth pass, if we look up, we still see the sky and the stars and the moon. That is still here. If we're walking around, we see things, the earth is still here. Verily I say unto you, until heaven and earth pass, we're still here on earth. We still see the stars and the moons and the, and the clouds up in the sky. It's still here, keep going. One shot. Oh. One shot. That means one dot on the eye. Not one dot on the eye. Or one two. Or one cross of the T. Or one cross of the T. This is another thing that, that you should know that our president has us to believe that our king, Christ, Yahweh Shai in Hebrew, was an illiterate uh, uh, Arab. That's how the way they want to portray it. How many of y'all didn't even knew what a jot or a tittle was? Christ was teaching us this thousands of years ago. He says, not one jot or one tittle shall what? Shall in no wise pass from the law. Shall in no wise pass from the law. That means not one law has been done away with. <laughs> All the laws, statutes, and commandments are here to stay. That's right. We are to obey the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. And it's not just ten of them. You don't even have ten rules to run your household. What do you think the Most High has only ten rules to run this earth? You must be crazy. I know what it is. 
We believe our oppressor who told us, who taught us from, from jump, there was only 10 laws that we had to obey. And even now, they're trying to say we can't even obey that. Right. That's how we, that's how we know we have Stockholm Syndrome. That's how we know we are on the bottom. That's how, this is, this is part of the problem. Actually, this is the whole problem. We're believing our oppressor when it comes to our salvation. Right. When our salvation comes from this scripture. That's right. It comes from this. Amen. All we have to do is follow this from the jump right. to the end. And then we will be saved. Only until the end. Right. We can't just do it on some time. We can't just do it uh, on, on fake holidays like Easter. We have to do this 24 hours a day, seven days a week until that, that sky cracks and Christ comes back. Right. And then we're going to keep doing it because that's the only way that we'll keep them here. Keep going. Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. Whosoever, therefore. Whosoever, therefore, whosoever. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. Whosoever shall break one of these least commandments, therefore, anybody, anybody who breaks any one of these least commandments, and you might say, what, what is a least commandment? How about smoking a cigarette? How about getting high? How about, how, how about laying with your sister and throwing her away? How about something small, like, like uh, uh, what we think is small, like in eating pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster? All we have to do is follow every single thing that the Most High told us to follow. Keep going. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. Whosoever shall break one of these least commandments. Like I said, any of these least commandments, some, someone who's, who's, who's uh, uh, eating pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster, or celebrating someone's birthday or their birthday, celebrating some of these fake holidays, going to church, Anyone who's breaking one of these least commandments, following a false god, bowing down to a false god, all of these may be least in your, in your mind, but it's more important to, to the Most High. This is what the Most High is telling us, is ordering us to do. The Most High did not give us an option, right. you should do this or you can do that. That's right. Or you can choose this commandment and not choose that. That's right. He commanded us to follow every single one of, of these commandments. This is what the Most High told us to do. And shall teach men, so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever shall disobey, whosoever shall break these least commandments and teach men to do that as well, like our so-called pastors, our, those pimps in the pulpits, who, or, or those, these are um, yes. earthly, you know, Kemet folk who tell us that we can do this or we can do that, or, or our God isn't th that God. Our God is some, some dog-headed God that lives in Egypt. Whoever is teaching us to do any of this foulness, any of this, these, these disgusting things, these abominations according to the Most High, read that part again. And so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He shall be, there was a TV show some years ago that was called The World Dirtiest Jobs. They had some nasty, disgusting jobs out there. There were some people who actually had to go out and, and fix some, some porta potties that, that, that had exploded or whatnot. That's one, that's a crappy job, in my opinion. Anyone who has to go down in the sewers and who has to dig out a, a, a back hole filled, you know, uh, a stoppage. That's a dirty job. I don't want to, I don't have no parts to do with that. The most I said they're gonna be, that's gonna be one of them. You need you need your toilet fixed, they're gonna come out, they're gonna call one of these people and fix it. They gonna there is there they they're gonna be digging in, in the mud, in the muck. They're gonna be low. They're gonna be the ones that are homeless. That's right. They're gonna be the ones that are destitute. The people who are who are boasting themselves in this kingdom right here peddling us garbage, teaching us to, to, to break the Most High's law, statutes, and the commandments, like those televangelists like T.D. Jakes. Yeah. 
and Creflo Dollar, those men will be the ones that will be released in the kingdom. Thank you, sister. This, thank you, sister. Thank you. But whosoever shall do and teach them, but whosoever shall do, read that part again. But whosoever shall do and teach them, but whosoever shall actually do them, whosoever shall actually celebrate the high holy days, the Passover, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Feast of First Fruit, whosoever shall actually teach men to not to eat pork, not to smoke. If you lie with a woman, that is your woman for life. Woman, if you lie with a man, you are not to leave that man for life. If you so, if you do this, these commandments, this is just a few. If you actually do these commandments and teach others to do these commandments, keep going. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. All these people, these people, these celebrities that we think are great, that hold power, that hold high, high regard in this kingdom, they will be called the least because they are not the ones that are actually teaching us to do these things. But the people that are actually here to teach our people to stand up for ourselves, and the way we stand up for ourselves is to actually teach us if you lie with a woman, you are to keep her That's right. for life. If she's a dragon, that is your fault. Right. You need to fix that. If you are on drugs, you need to get up off of drugs. Right. If you don't know how to get up off of drugs, ask, somebody, ask one of us who knows how to get up off of drugs. If you are poor and destitute, come into this house and we will teach you how to, how to fish for life so you won't be poor or destitute. Right. Know this, that the kingdom of heaven is all about brotherhood, right, right. about looking out for one another. And we cannot look out for one another if we're all for ourselves. If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast hosted by commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out.